I'm, I'm not talking about just Palestinians, I'm talking about the Muslim community worldwide, that has produced a seemingly unending supply of suicide bombers over the last 50 years, who are powerfully deranged by religious symbols and literally like rigging children to explode. Okay, there's a large amount of literature since 9-11 on suicide bombers. Does he cite anything? How many? I'd like to ask him a question. Since we're talking about people who are powerfully deranged, there was a poll done, Time Magazine, and a report that's 57% of Israelis think that Israel is not using enough force in Gaza, not using enough force. And they all have access to the internet, so they see all the same pictures as you see in see. They see all of those kids, and they think not enough force is being used. I would say that's prima facie evidence of being powerfully deranged. If we were going to make comparisons, I think a suicide power actually has at least some raw physical courage. So you can say, no, that's not the same because with Hamas and the other fanatics, they blow up innocence, really. And what do you think is going on in Gaza? Hospitals? where Human Rights Watch concluded that there was no military justification for the targeting of hospitals. Who are you targeting in hospitals? You're talking about targeting the lame, the sick, the nearly dead, and the newborn. That's what you're targeting in hospitals. That's okay. People don't want to hear it, but I'll say it. Israel is a citizen army. So when they carry out the genocide, right, right. Yeah. representative of Israeli society, right. everyone in Israel is either a war criminal or a vicarious war criminal. Everybody participating is a participant in the genocide.